Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. God bless you from wherever you are worshiping me from. This is a message for you, a message for you that is worshiping me. If you are a true worshiper of God, if you are a true believer, if you are the, that woman, that man that want to see Jesus at the end of this journey, if you are that man, that woman that wants to see Jesus at the end of this journey, this is a call for repentance, is a call for consecration, is a call for rededication. The Lord is calling upon you and I for us to rededicate our life before him, for us to consecrate our life before him. He's calling upon us for us to repent before him. It is not his wish that none should perish. The Lord is calling upon us today. It's a call for repentance, a call for repentance. Many believers who call themselves children of the kingdom, they have made themselves an enemy to God. They have made themselves an enemy to Jesus. They have made themselves an enemy to, 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 to God. How, do, how have they made themselves an enemy to God? Any true believer, any true believer can never toy with the world, can never dine with the world because friendship with the, with the world is a limity to God. Friendship with the world is a limit to God. Many Christians today, they have made themselves an enemy to God, but they do not know. You have made yourself an enemy to God, but you do not know. You are living a double life. You are living a double life. The God of heaven is calling upon you because he, he loves you, because he is interested in you. The God of heaven is calling upon you. This is a call. For repentance. This is a call for, for, for rededicating ourselves before God. This is a call for consecration. I want to quickly read from the book of Romans, chapter 2, from verse 8. This is the word of God for you and I this morning. This is the word of God for you and I this morning. It says, But unto them that are conscious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation and wrath, tribulations and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil, unto them that do not obey the truth. But they have obeyed unrighteousness. They have embraced the world. They are dancing with the world. He said, unto them tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil, of the Jew first and also of the Gentiles. He said, but glory, glory, honor, and peace to every man that walketh good, to the Jew first, and also to the Gentiles. He said, for there is no respecter, no respecter of person with God. God can never respect any man or any woman. God, There is no respecter. God can never bribe you. God can never, you know, be partial. On that great day, he will not be partial. He is a respecter of no man. He says, there is no respecter of person with him. For as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. You are inexcusable. Oh, ye man, you are inexcusable. You are inexcusable. Even if you say that, oh... You, you don't know the Bible. You don't know this. You have conscience. Your conscience will tell you what is good. Your conscience will tell you what is evil. Your conscience can, can differentiate between good and evil for you. For all as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law. God is out. He's out in his wrath. He's out in his fury. For as many who have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. Oh, brothers and sisters, this is a call for repentance. It is a call for consecration. It is a call for dedication. The Lord doesn't want you and I to perish. He is calling upon us. He is calling upon us. It is a call for consecration. It is a call for repentance. The time to play away Christianity has come, has come to an end. The time to play with Christianity it has come to an end. Let it come to an end in your life. The time to play with Christianity.
It may be your own last call. It may be your own last call. It may be, it may be my own last call. Today it may be my own last call. Your own last call. To heaven today. It may be your own last call. Your last call, my last call. The Lord is calling upon us. Judgment. Judgment. Fury. Anger. Wrath of God. Wrath of God is coming upon every man and woman who are dancing, eating, dining with the world. You have equally made yourself an enemy to God. God is calling upon us. Let us look at where we are falling and let us stand up from that place and, and brush ourselves up and continue this journey. It is not over until it is over. Join me seven days fasting and prayer to save the face of God. To save the face of God. Let's come together. Let's consecrate ourselves. Let's rededicate ourselves. Let us come in repentance before God. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God bless you. In place to serve Jesus, I speak from my heart. In all